In this video, let's discuss paper 5 of A-level chemistry of year summer 22, variant 2, that is question paper 5 2 of question 1. In this video, we'll also discuss what are the variables, what are the measurements we should be doing while planning an experiment, what are errors and accuracy, how to plot a graph and gradient and how to draw conclusions from our analysis. So let's start with question 1. So here is a question one of question paper five two of your summer twenty two, and you can pause the video and read all the steps. But in short, I'll just tell you that we need to find a value of molar volume Vm of hydrogen gas at room conditions. And here is a, re a reaction which is happening. That is, we are reacting magnesium ribbon with hydrochloric acid to produce hydrogen gas and then we'll be calculating the molar volume so the process is fully given till step 5 and you can pause the video and read all the steps now a part of the question says complete figure 1.1 to show how the apparatus should be assembled for the collection and measurement of the gas label your diagram now as we are collecting hydrogen gas we need to be careful that it is explosive so we can't collect it in gas syringe although we can draw a gas syringe but it is preferable that we collect it in above the water so here we are supposed to draw a labeled diagram where we can draw a tube which is collecting our gas over water so you can draw a delivery tube we have this with the help of a scale i'm draw, drawing just like this but it can be always done in a proper way with the help of a scale now here we need to draw a measuring cylinder in a trough of water now here is the diagram which i've drawn for you to have a look and we need to label it also so we are labeling this as 250 centimeter cube measuring cylinder now this is what is required mainly now we should also take care that all the apparatus should be sealed now here we have seen that the conical flask is sealed other than that the tube also is fully connected there should not be any uh, gap shown between the tube and also the tube here which i have drawn inside the water that also should be fully dipped inside the water and you can label this as water so that it is but known that we are collecting the hydrogen gas over water now one thing to note that we need to mention the volume of the measuring cylinder which we are using why because it's written in the question that we need to assemble the apparatus for the collection and measurement of gas now measurement of gas we need a big enough volume of measuring cylinder which can collect all the gas and measure it so we are mentioning the volume that is 250 centimeter cube of the measuring cylinder this is necessary wherever needed the volume or the unit is should be specified now let's go ahead with the next part of the question where it shows that the surface of the magnesium ribbon has an oxide layer show state how the student should prepare the piece of magnesium ribbon before it is used in this experiment now removal of oxide layer is very very necessary because that's going to hinder in our the measurement of mass and also in the experiment so now we need to remove the oxide layer and that's the reason we will write that remove oxide layer remove oxide layer by scratching off we need to scratch off the oxide, uh, oxide layer so scratching off with the help of mainly we scratch off with the help of sandpaper so with sandpaper that's what i am mentioning here so we are specifying each and every apparatus or the substance we are using during the experiment now that is important again so second point which you should note down here is that specify the apparatus of the substance we are using specify the volume wherever needed specify the unit also 
next part says that state what additional information about the magnesium is required before the experiment is performed so about magnesium we need to know the mass of magnesium used mass of magnesium used now this is necessary because we need to know that what amount of hcl or concentration we need to use to for the complete reaction so if we know the mass we can understand and find out calculate what volume or concentration of hcl is required the next part show by calculation that the volume of 30 cm cube of 0.5 mole per dm cube hcl is enough to react with 0.16 g of magnesium ribbon now let's first calculate the moles of hcl used because the volume and concentration is given so moles of hcl is equal to concentration in volume is equal to 0 0.50 into 30 now 30 is centimeter cube so we need to convert it into dm cube sum again multiplying it by 10 power minus 3 to convert it into dm cube and the answer is 0 0.015 moles of hcl now if it's 0 0.015 moles of hcl now looking at the equation we can find out that the moles of magnesium required is in the ratio of 1 is to 2 so moles of magnesium required will be halfer than the hcl so 0 0.015 divide by 2 that will be the moles of magnesium required now if we calculate the mass of magnesium then mass of magnesium is equal to moles into the atomic mass of magnesium so we will multiply 0 0.015 divide by 2 directly into the molecular atomic mass of magnesium that is 24.3 which gives us the answer of 0 0.18 grams so the mass of magnesium re, uh, required to react with the hcl used here is 0 0.18 gram but we are using only 0 0.16 gram so that shows that the hcl used is more than enough to react with 0 0.16 gram of magnesium now another method which we can use is calculate the moles of magnesium used and then from the stoichiometry that is the mole ratio of magnesium and hcl calculate the volume required of the hcl for this concentration that also can be done now from that we can calculate that 30 centimeter cube is more than required to react with 0 0.16 gram of magnesium that also can be done any method which you are comfortable with can be used now let's go ahead with the next part of the question it says that state why it is not necessary to use a burette to measure 30 centimeter cube of 0.5 mole per dm cube of hcl now it's not required to use the accurate exact accurate volume of hcl because hcl that is acid is already in excess so if a small volume of hcl is little up and down more or less than required it won't make much difference that's why burette using is not required let's go ahead with the next part that is a student waits for two minutes before taking a reading of the volume suggest why the student waits for two minutes before measuring the volume of the gas in step seven now the reason being is that the reaction is exothermic so the volume of the gas produced may be at a higher temperature which may not give us the accurate volume because the volume measured will be higher than the actual volume at higher temperature so to bring down the volume at room temperature bring down the gas at room temperature we are waiting for two minutes so we can say that as reaction is exothermic reaction is exothermic waiting two minutes will bring will bring gas to room temperature 
anything related to sentence which mentions that the uh, temperature room temperature is required that is acceptable the next part of the question says that the student collects the 146 centimeter cube of hydrogen gas during the experiment calculate the percentage error in collecting the hydrogen gas show your working now we generally know that the minimum volume a measuring cylinder measures is a one centimeter cube in general most of the time that is how we use a measuring cylinder so to calculate the percentage error what are we going to do is divide the one that is the minimum volume which the measuring cylinder can read divide by our reading of the volume of hydrogen gas collected 146 that should be multiplied by 100 to calculate the percentage and so the answer is 0 0.68 percent now 0 0.68 percentage or you can if you want to uh, specify your answer in three significant figures you can add one more number that is 0 0.685 percentage now that is how you are going to calculate the percentage error of the measuring cylinder for collecting hydrogen gas now they are actually asking the percentage error in the reading of hydrogen gas so if we are using the measuring cylinder for hydrogen gas collection then we need to calculate the percentage error related to the minimum volume a measuring cylinder can read okay the next part says that calculate the molar volume of hydrogen gas using the students results from this experiment now to calculate that the formula vm is equal to the volume of the gas divided by the moles of the gas now as we have seen in the equation earlier that the moles of magnesium is equal to the moles of hydrogen gas because both the substances is in the ratio of 1 is to 1 so magnesium moles will be equal to the moles of hydrogen gas so here if we apply that the volume of the gas collected is 146 divided by the moles of magnesium now moles of magnesium is 0 0.16 gram of magnesium divided by its atomic mass that is 24.3 now that is going to give us the answer of 2274 centimeter cube now we are writing this in centimeter cube because we will get the answer in dm cube so here it will be 22.174 dm cube but if we convert it into centimeter cube we need to write it as 22174 centimeter cube answer is 22.174 dm cube so here we are calculating the molar volume of hydrogen gas with this experiment now let's go ahead with the next part sub question says that the students experimental value for the molar volume of hydrogen is lower than the value quoted in the table of important values constants and standards on page 11 now suggest one experimental weakness that might have led to this outcome explain how the method could be improved to overcome the weakness you have noted now the only reason which is possible is that there may be a loss of hydrogen gas before the conical flask is sealed the loss of hydrogen gas before before the flask is sealed because we need to stopper the flask immediately after the magnesium is added before the flask is sealed that's what we are writing now what is the improvement the improvement is that we can keep both the substances that is magnesium and hcl separated inside the conical flask now that is also possible when we hang the magnesium inside the sealed conical flask but that we need, uh, don't need to mention we can just write keep the reagents keep the reagents separate in the conical flask keep the reagents separate in the 
conical flask we can only write a flask if needed conical flask and and mix them mix them during experiment during experiment i'm writing in short but you need to write it fully that during experiment in the sealed container in the sealed flask so that there are no chances of the gas to escape out so this is the improvement which we is required for our experiment so here the question one of paper five to summer 22 is over is completed but what are the key terms key points which we have understood here first thing is that how to calculate the percentage error that's what we have understood also what should be specified or what should be mentioned during while or writing about the experiment so what i say that wherever needed <coughs> mention the volume of the apparatus or the substance reagents needed reagents used during the experiment that is very important how to calculate the percentage error mention always the volume of the apparatus or the reagents used you can always mention the unit also plus also understand how what are the improvements improvements is very important improvements has to be mentioned because most of the time it is also asked in the question so you should know how to improvement experiment and if we are not able to make out you can always reread the whole process reread the whole process and understand what are the apparatus used what is the process if we can make some changes to make it more accurate that has to be mentioned here so this is how we have discussed question one in our next video we'll be discussing question two